Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to delegate control of an OU in Active Directory. One of the major benefits of Active Directory is that you can split up administrative tasks among various individuals. You can assign different sets of administrative responsibilities to different users and these can include segments of the directory structure such as OUs or sites. You can use OU to delegate the administration of objects such as users or computers within the OU to a designated individual or group. To delegate administration by using an OU, place the individual or group to which you are delegating administrative rights into a group, place the set of objects to be controlled into an OU and then delegate administrative task for the OU to that group. When you delegate control, keep in mind that the default behavior of ADDS is to make such permissions inheritable. For example, if your top level OU is named marketing and it contains OUs named marketing users and marketing computers and if you delegate full control of marketing to a user named Joss, he is able to make changes throughout all the marketing users and marketing computers child OUs as well as the parent OU named marketing. However, if you delegate to another user named Jennifer, the reset password right in marketing users, she will not be able to reset passwords for the users in the marketing or marketing computers OU. I hope I am making sense about the OU delegation. We are using the same lab setup which we have used in this last video on how to create and manage OUs in Active Directory. In that video, we have created few OUs in our Active Directory domain. Additionally, I have created one new security group named OU Delegates. I have added Josh Smith user account to the OU Delegates group. We are going to use the user account of Josh Smith to delegate control of an OU named India Marketing Users. Windows Server provides the delegation of control wizard to facilitate the task of delegating administrative control to specific user or group. In Active Directory Users and Computers, locate and right click on your OU and then click Delegate Control. Click Next on Welcome Wizard. On the Users or Groups page, click Add. Type the name of the required user or group in the selected Users, Computers or Groups dialog box. We are going to use the security group name OU Delegates. Click OK. Then click on Next. On the task to delegate page, select a single task or multiple tasks you want to delegate. Choose reset user passwords and force user password change at next logon and read all user information task. If you want to delegate a task that is not shown in the list provided here, select the create a custom task to delegate option. As of now, we are going with this selection. Click next to continue. AD permissions are configured for our OU. Click Finish. Within 2-3 steps, we have assigned the permission to reset user's password and force user account password change at next logon to the member of OU Delegate Security Group. We have assigned this permission on India Marketing Users OU. You can run the delegation of control wizard as many times as you require to assign the necessary permissions. However, for more advanced tasks or specialist permissions, you must use custom task. For example, to delegate the ability to create and delete computer objects, you must use the custom task option. Right click on your OU, which is India Marketing Users in our case, and then select Delegate Control. Click Next. Click on Add. Specify a group OU Delegates. Click OK. Click Next. This time, we are going to select Create a Custom Task to Delegate option. Click Next. On this page, select only the following objects in the folder or radio button. First option delegates control of the container including all its current and future objects. 
Second option enables you to select specific objects to be controlled within this selected OU. From the list, choose user objects as we just want to give permissions for user accounts. You can select create selected object in this folder to allow selected object types to be created. Or select delete selected objects in this folder to allow selected object types to be deleted. We will only go with user objects. Click next. Select general and property specific permissions. Then enable the permissions of your choice. For example, I'm going to select read all properties. Write company and write department. For this demonstration purpose, I'm going to select only these permissions. You can select these permissions as per your requirement. Click next to continue. When you're done with customizing the permission, click on finish to close this wizard. Again, the permission has been set up successfully. To view, modify or delete permissions granted using this wizard, right click the OU and select properties. On properties page, there will be one tab named security. If you are using Active Directory users and computers, and do not see security tab, make sure that advanced features are displayed under the view menu of the console. Click OK. Click on view. Click on advanced features. Expand India OU. Expand India Marketing. Right click on India Marketing Users and select Properties. Go to Security tab. Here we can see one entry for OU Delegates. And OU Delegates has a special permission on this India Marketing Users OU. If you want to view the specific delegated permissions, click on Advanced. Here you can see the permission entries for our group which we have added using the delegation of controlled wizard. OU Delegates, Reset Password, OU Delegates, Read All Properties. There will be other entries for OU Delegates group as well. These permission entries are related to writing company name and writing department value in user account properties. You can also use the Add button to configure specific permissions without needing to use the delegation of control wizard. Click on Add. Click on Select a Principal Link. Select a Group OU Delegates. Click OK. Now select the type of permission which you want to assign, allow or deny and select the permission on which you want to apply. Here we have the list of permissions which you can customize. So there are lots of permissions which we are not going to customize at the moment but I simply want to show you that this is the place from where we can customize the permissions. Click cancel, uh, cancel again and click on OK. So we have successfully configured OU delegation and we have assigned certain permissions to the member of OU delegate security group. Uh, Josh Smith is one of the member of OU delegate security group. Now to test this, let's go to our domain join Windows 10 computer. Let's log into this computer using Josh Smith's user account who is member of the OU delegates group. On this computer, already I have installed RSET tools for Active Directory Management. Already I have created one video on how to install RSET tools on Windows 10 computer for Active Directory Management. Link to that video is given in the description area so you can check out the process to install RSET tools on Windows 10 computer. If you have installed RSET tools on your Windows client computer, you can find those tools under Administrative Tools. So click on Start menu, expand Administrative Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Try to create an user account under India Marketing Users OU. Expand a domain name, expand India OU, expand India Marketing and click on India Marketing Users. Here we can see the property of a user so this means user Josh Smith can read user properties information. Now let's try to create an user account under India Marketing Users OU. Let's right click on this OU. As you can see, there will be no option to create an user account as this user does not have permissions to do so. 
and even if you see at the top menu those options are gray out so this user cannot create new active directory user accounts but can reset the password of an existing user accounts let's check that right click an existing user account name robert j petition and select reset password enter new password and the password again to confirm it make sure user must change password at next login option is selected we have also selected one more option unlock the user's account we haven't given the permission to unlock the user's account to ou delegates group let's see what happens click okay as expected we are getting an error message the attempt to unlock the account failed because of the following error insufficient access rights to perform the operation we have given the permission to reset the password and force users to change password at next login but we haven't given the permission to unlock the user account and that's the reason why this user josh smith is not able to unlock the user account click okay and if you click okay you will get an confirmation message that the password for this user has been changed click okay let's only reset the user's password This time I'm going to clear the checkbox unlock the user's account and we have force user to change password at next login click okay perfect the password for our user has been changed successfully and this time we haven't received any error because a user has that permissions we can confirm that the delegated user successfully reset the password of the existing user we have given one more permission let's check that Let's double click on a user account. Go to organization tab. We have given the permission to write department and company value. So let's specify users department which is going to be marketing company MSFT Webcast Solution Private Limited. Click on apply. Perfect. But if I try to specify other information for example on a telephone tab, uh, let's specify the mobile number. I can't. uh let's go to the general tab and let's specify the telephone number here i can't i'm not able to type anything in telephone numbers attribute the reason is pretty simple because we haven't assigned the permission to update telephone numbers for user objects in india marketing ou this means a ou delegation was successful that's all for this video on how to delegate control of an ou in windows server 2022 active directory i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video please let me know in the comment section thank you all for watching this video have a nice day